just because everyone is freaking out about AI and AI is now the hottest stuff in the news, life moves on and nothing really changes, at least yet. Take it from Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. Someone said to me over the weekend, you shipped an AGI and I somehow like am just going about my daily life and I'm not that impressed. <laughs> and I obviously don't think we shipped an AGI, um, but I get the point and the world is continuing on. So in this video, I thought to take a step back from the sensationalism of AI. He is the one. I integrated GPT into Google Sheets and created this. Here's 660 use cases of AI across different job titles and industries. And because no one wants to look at the Excel file like this, I'm going to show you how to turn this into actual useful design at scale. And yes, you could use some shady plugin, which collects unreasonable amounts of personal data, or you can use ChatGPT to provide you code and instructions without any coding knowledge, just like I did. First of all, we are going to GPT-4 and I'm going to ask, I want to integrate GPT-3 into Google Sheets. How do I do that? And it provides me step-by-step -step guide. The first step is to get API key from OpenAI. To do that, you need to go to OpenAI's playground, which is platform.openai.com. You need to log in or sign up. I have my existing account, but for this video, I will sign up with a new email. I need your first name, last name, organization, and birthday. Then you will need to verify your phone number. And I just received the code. That's it, we are in. Now we can explore different stuff, but we will focus on getting your API running. For that, we navigate to the account, view API keys. When you sign up, you're going to be on a free trial. And you can head over to the usage page to see how many credits you have for free. However, to use API, you still need to set up paid account. And if you are interested about how much these things cost you, you can navigate to pricing and check out the different breakdowns. Mind you that access to API got 90% cheaper than it used to be. It's not going to cost you that much for the purpose of what we are going to do. However, I would really encourage you to set up limit. But before we do that, Let's set a paid account. To create an account, you will be prompted to provide credit card information and your address. After you've got your account, navigate to usage limit. Here you can set up hard and soft limit. For example, for what we are going to do, I will set up hard limit 10 US dollars and soft limit 8. Now we can go to users and here you can create a new secret key. Never ever post your key anywhere on the internet and don't show it. So for that purpose, I'm not going to show my secret key in this video. One issue I had that I did not name my Google Sheet. I was just, I think, too excited to test it out and it didn't work. And I was breaking my head. What is the issue? And apparently the moment I gave my Google Sheet a name, it worked. So we're going to do exactly that. I call it the demo. And now you go to extensions and app scripts. Ah, that Grammarly thing. Here again, name your project and I will do demo again. Okay, let's check what's next. Okay, we need to create a new script file, which we're going to do by clicking plus symbol under the files and we'll do script and we will name it GPT-3 integration. Step five is to now use our API key and include it into the script. And we, of course, got a script as well. So I'm going to just copy code, delete everything, paste it. And you might need to go back and forth to get it right and working and just basically saying, I have an error. This is not working. What should I do? Or even better, you can check short substack. He laid out perfectly well the instructions and every step and explanation what you will need. And here you have the whole blog post where he explains step by step how to do it and provides you with a code. I'm going to copy his code and plug it instead. We tinkered stuff together and I tested his application and 
I have to tell you, his integration has a little nifty trick to it, which you will definitely find very, very useful. And here you have paste API key here, starting with SK. And we'll do that. By the way, here you can control your tokens and also temperature. So we are going to save this. And now we are going to give it a try, GPT. And we are going to do generate random business names. While loading, if you hover, it says error. It's not error, just working. Now the fun part, you can just drag it, it will load, and here you go, it generated you many. If you pay attention here, we suddenly now have GPT button. To show you the reason why this GPT button is a game changer, if you want to edit the output, you just click this, you have your results as a text. You will be prompted for authorization. Don't get scared. This is perfectly fine because Google hasn't verified this API integration we just did. You go to advanced and go to demo and save. Here is the thing. This is how it should look when you have an API integration or a tool in integration. And I've seen some of ChatGPT plugins for Google Sheets, which ask for so much unnecessary information. In this instance, isn't that easier just to do it yourself as compared to providing your information to third parties or freshly new startup? We don't want Google Analytica 2.0, but also if you're working with businesses or you are using this for a business, you don't really want all that necessary information going to third party. So we're going to just allow this. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Here's 660 use cases of AI across different job titles and industries. And I know it's a lot. Then you start playing GPT function your file can very quickly look something like this. And the reason I did this, because I get now a lot of questions from different people in different industries, having different job titles. And the question is, how do I actually use this technology in my specific situation? And because no one wants to look at the Excel file like this, I'm going to show you how to turn this into actual useful design at scale. For that, we are going to use bulk upload function in Canva. And for example, you want to do SWOT analysis or event invitation. So we'll start with SWOT analysis. First, I asked it to create random advertisement ideas, which it did. And this is our prompt. The more complex your prompt is, the more time it takes. Copy this and pay special and values only. Because in this document, I have my own integration and not shorties. We download CSV file and we go back to Canva. You look for a template, which is SWOT analysis. You choose your template. You want to create text fields for which your information from Excel will be plugged in. In Canva, you go to apps. If you're first time using, you will be able to see bulk create. If you already used it, that app appears at the bottom corner right here. Take our CSV file. Here we go. We have our fields. Right click and you connect it to appropriate data. And it appears as a check mark here. And we just press continue. And here you go. You have your SWOT analysis for three different ideas. All you need to do is just to fix it up, check ideas, adjust it. That's it. Same goes for event invitations, which looks boring in Excel and no one wants to copy paste anything anymore. Once I plugged in that Excel, I got something like this. Same goes for different ideas. You can do business model canvas, smart goals. If you thought this was impressive, just imagine what's possible if you start learning prompt engineering, which I cover in this video. Secret to controlling AI and the one skill you need to learn is prompt engineering. It's like programming, but with words, which already pays insane amount of money.